In this episode of Restore It, I restore this E30M Technic steering wheel taken from the 325i Sport. As you can see, this wheel was pretty worn out and was in need of a deep clean before I could even think about refinishing it. In the areas that were most touched, there were patches of leather where the dye had been completely worn away. In some places the stitching had become undone and in others it had become weirdly fuzzy. As for the overall condition of the surface, it was pretty good in terms of big scratches or dents, so the special leather filler that I had available to me wasn't needed. As always, the first thing I did was dismantle it completely. As you can hear, two of these springs worked as intended, whilst the other one didn't have much life left in it. We'll come back to that later on. And there it was, completely dismantled. Quite an easy one the steering wheel, as there's not much to it. The majority of the work will be the cleaning, dyeing, sealing and waxing of the leather. Before we carry on, I want to talk to you about Carly, the sponsor of this episode. With the Carly app, you can gain access to the hidden world inside your car that you weren't able to unlock until now. The modern vehicle, regardless of cost, contains up to 80 complex electronic control units with between 5 and 20 million lines of code. The Carly app empowers you by not only providing access to the data, but interpreting it and making it easy to understand and operate, all directly through your smartphone whenever you need it. With the health scan feature, Carly allows you to see the all over health of your vehicle and detect any hidden errors before they turn into costly damages. You'll also save money by being able to read and clear your own fault codes. You can also customise your car through coding hidden features that are already there and make your old car feel like a newer one. For example, adding a digital speedo, or turning BMW's iDrive into an entertainment system, or even updating it from the E to the F system. Here you can see me removing the annoying seatbelt warnings and changing the dash lights to always stay on, just because I think they look so nice. Another handy feature is the ability to check a second-hand car before you buy it for mileage manipulation and driver's behaviour, which will help you make a more informed decision and prevent you from getting done up like a kipper. Carly has designed a new adapter that works with all car brands to empower as many car owners as possible. The available features and pricing vary from car manufacturers and models. The OBD functions work with every brand, whilst the coding possibilities work with BMW, Mini, Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda, Seat, Toyota and Lexus. A lot of the health related features work with a free version of the app. You just need the Carly adapter, and if you click the link in the video description and use code RESTORIT at checkout, you'll get 20% off that adapter. Thanks to the Carly app for supporting RESTORIT, let's get back in the workshop. So to clean the steering wheel before the dye is applied, I'll use this leather cleaner from Colorlock, along with a brush, microfiber towels and some warm water. With this sanding sponge, I'll remove any slight imperfections in the leather and also remove any old flaking dye that could easily come off even after I've applied the new coats. Once the wheel is smooth and clean, I'll use Colorlock's leather fresh black dye and a sponge to refinish the wheel and bring it back to life with two coats and a careful sanding in between those coats. I'll then use this sealer from Lamo to keep everything locked in and protected.
With the wheel cleaned to the point that I felt as if I was just taking off the old die that was still good, I used a brush to clean inside the horn button holes and made sure the wheel was as dry as it could be. Even though it was very clean, it still looked bad with the patchy dye pretty much running around the entire thing. The next thing I focused on were the loose threads and the fuzzy bits. In this case, I used a blade to cut it down and then a lighter to burn away the rest, which will hopefully prevent it from getting worse. I did this for the rest of the loose threads that were too small to cut and also the fuzzy sections. I needed to lightly sand the outer ring, the part that was most affected by wear and tear. The worst affected area was where the completely worn out meets the not so worn out parts. So this was the area I spent most time perfecting. With the sanding done, I gave it one last clean and made sure it was fully dry before dying by carefully using the heat gun. I then gave it one final clean with quartz silicone remover to remove any oils or tiny specks of dirt and began applying the first coat of dye. With the first coat done, I decided to let it dry overnight and get everything else ready for the reassembly whilst I waited. Firstly I gave everything a clean. The nut and washer that hold the steering wheel in place had a sad looking zinc coating on them so I decided to strip it off and add a fresh one. With that doing its thing, I then lightly sanded the first coat which was now dry, in preparation for the second. I then applied the dye just as thoroughly as I did before, as well as doing the three buttons which I missed the first time round.
I left that to dry for 12 hours before doing anything else. Whilst I waited, I polished the badge and fixed the not so springy spring. With that making the right noises, I had two more products to finish off the wheel, one of which I forgot to mention at the start. The leather sealer, and finally this elephant leather preserve, which will add a slight shine and protect it from cracking or fading again anytime soon. Both of these were applied with clean and dry microfiber towels. And that's everything finished and ready to be reassembled. With the slip ring back in its place, that's this restoration finished. I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out, I just wish this was the smaller 375mm version, something I'm on the hunt for, so if anyone's got one for sale, or knows of one, please do let me know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I did making it, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.